Hey, 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 it's time for another new patch for Heroes of the Storm. 27th of September is when this thing went live, which means if you're watching this YouTube video as it drops, tonight I'm streaming HOTS, Tuesday, 28th of September. You can watch how some of these new changes may pan out. I'm going to be trying all the new heroes and see how good they are. But when I say new heroes, I mean newly changed heroes, okay? Newly changed heroes. It's not like they suddenly drop five new heroes on us. Hopefully, we will get a new hero sometime. But otherwise, these balanced patch notes still keep it fresh. Let's jump into them and see what's new. Uh, hey guys, welcome to another video. And I have some exciting news because Heroes of the Storm is getting patched again with another balance patch and we're gonna see some heroes rise and we're gonna see some heroes plummet but my first question is how much difference is there going to be between my patch notes that we did a video on recently the 50 minute video and the patch notes by blizzard or maybe i should ask is there going to be any crossover at all any of the ideas and my favorite change would be that Abathur's mule gets removed. If you see that, then you'll know I've had an influence. Uh, but otherwise, I guess we'll see. I'm going to put a link to my faux patch notes in the description so that you can check that out and compare them if you want to see it one more time. But let's jump into what Blizzard has for us today. Quick navigation. All right. We got changes coming to ETC, Gaslow, Thrall, Zarya, Ana, Brightwing, Lily, Stukov, Maev, Kelthos, Kelthazad, Nazibo, Vala, and Sigara. Damn it! Maybe I should have linked. Maybe I should have emailed them the link to uh, my notes. They probably missed it. Maybe they're not subbed to my new YouTube channel, Grubby Hearts. Damn. Anyway, uh, no avatar changes. Mule's still in the game, but let's make some quick predictions. I did get spoiled that ETC is getting buffed, so I cannot predict what's going to happen there. But I would guess, and I heard that Gaslow is getting nerfed, which surprises the heck out of me. Otherwise, I would have guessed buff. I'm going to guess Thrall... Maybe buff? Though I'm not sure that he needs it. I feel like he's pretty average. Uh, Zarya, I feel like he's average as well. I can only imagine maybe rework some things. Anna, I hope that they, like I said in the patch notes that I made, uh, that the healing grenade becomes 75% heal debuff instead of 100%. Brightwing probably is due to some small nerfs. Lily, perhaps some buffs. Stukov needs a big fat nerfing stick on his face. Bonk. My F. Uh, too good for pros? Too weak for noobs? Maybe buff? Which scares me, honestly. It does. Uh, Kel'thas. A little bit fallen off, as has Kel'Thuzad. Both of these probably are due for a buff to see them a little bit more again. Though it's always risky to buff Kel'Thuzad too much, since he can be so controlling and dominant, despite his immobility and easiness of getting killed. Nazebo probably some spider nerfs, and maybe he deserves some zombie wall talent buffs. The thing I hope for the most is that Zombie Wall becomes a better CC ability because everyone can dash out of it. Vala, I'm not sure. I think auto attack buff the quest. And for the rest, I don't think she's that good. But she's still super popular. And in the right hand, she's still really good. But most people just depress me when I see them play Vala. Uh, Zagara could get a buff again because they overdid her buffs, then they overdid her nerfs. Now let's jump into it. ETC. Heroic abilities grant 60 armor for two seconds. Ah, so he's getting 25 armor from basic abilities, but heroics give 60. That is a huge buff. Wow. He comes in with stage dive. He comes in with a mosh pit and he's got 60 armor for two seconds. That's really big. Guitar hero auto attack buff. Cooldown reduction increased from five to seven seconds. Wow. Crowd server, the one that goes through walls. Both of these are less popular than the big face smelt, but I think speed metal in particular is quite useful uh, for him to keep himself safe. He becomes worse at peel with the small face smelt, much worse. But that's good. that's a good amount of movement speed, 20% for half a second more. A little bit more auto attack talent, so he's become slightly better at solo laning and just dealing damage. Echo pedal, yeah, it was a bit weak. The face melt talent is the best burst. 
more damage, less PV. Okay, so a bit more PvP utility. This looks like it will roughly be the same PvE. Stage dive, mana cost 70. Oh, that's that's pretty big. And a four second slow. Uh, I think among all of these, these are all underused talents, less used talents. This is the big one, and this is a big buff. He is kind of squishy. I don't think this overdoes it. ETC is maybe not top five tank right now. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I like I like ETC. Um, I don't think they overdid it. It's a it's a buff, and I think he will be meta. But I don't think it's too much. A little bit less health for Gaslo. Turrets do less damage and laser deals less damage. Oh, I did hear, by the way, now that I remember, my prediction is pretty bad because I heard that on the stats, though I didn't check it myself, uh, Gaslo is the highest win rate bruiser. And these are really small nerfs. So I feel like that is good. It's a good change by Blizzard. Not overdoing it, not breaking him. Just subtle. Might not even be enough. But that's always good. Rather too little than too much. At this stage. Feral Spirit cheaper in mana. Oh nice. He is fairly mana hungry. Um, more mana reduction. More stacks from the W. Lesser used talent for sure this one. This one gets used a little bit less as well these days. The healing is increased by up to 100%. Oh, so instead of 150% always, the lower he is, the more this is. So you get rewarded more for using it when you're low. I like that. Good change. So far, this is a really good patch note. Spirit Shield. Oh, yeah. This is by far the lowest win rate talent on Thrall. It's the Spell Shield that gets CDR'd every time Frostwolf procs. And it was 2.5 seconds for 50%. Now it's 4 seconds. Sweet. That's a nice, uh, nice buff. Makes him uh, more resilient to Mage Burst when he tries to go in. And an Elemental Momentum, new passive. Basic attacks reduce basic and heroic abilities by quarter second. Basic attacks by quarter second on anything, half a second on heroes. Okay. Basic and heroic abilities. Damn. He gives up Blink, which is a big sacrifice. And because of that, this may not be picked as much because blink's still good but that's uh that's sick yeah i was wondering the same thing marilyn knoodle if he uses stage dive do two seconds armor begin when he starts to take off or when he lands that's a really good and important question uh i think this is an attractive alternative i like it i will try some thrall support zarya while above 40 energy, Zarya's basic attack size is increased by 35% as well. So they took the level 7 and they added it. Nice. This is a good talent. Damage absorbed by Zarya's shield contributes 20% more energy. This is like more shield to herself and also more energy. Nice. Deep burn. Basic attacks against heroes. Hit by particle grenade in the last three seconds, generate one energy. Wow, that's four energy per second. She can get uh, 12 energy, auto attacking someone after grenading them. That's, that's pretty big. She does give up the Q burst, so I don't know if it's gonna be popular. Per target, oh yeah. I think Peel the Heat will be good. Really good tank buster with Feel the Heat. This helps with that as well. Yeah, I think going Feel the Heat together with Deep Burn, you're going to be insane against anyone melee. Because it's so easy to proc. Graviton Surge also deals damage. Because it has no damage right now. And this isn't a lot. This is 45 damage per second at level 10. 60 damage at level 20 per second. For like three to four seconds it's not a lot but it's nice that it has a bit oh wait i forgot her this gets amplified by having energy oh that's a pretty big buff yeah uh hot still getting patches warcraft 3 and se2 are jealous right now yeah i'm going to continue playing se2 very very shortly i'm just looking over the patch notes 
Contact healing. Biotic grenade deals 30% additional damage per hero hit. Okay. Vampiric rounds stack bonus strike increased. So she's getting buff buff. 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 Wait. Wow. Buff. They buffed the crap out of Anna, but talents that don't get used as much per se. Ba bad. Never picked. Very rarely picked. Sometimes. Almost never. Not much. And not much at all. So they did buff underused talents, but they didn't nerf any of the best and they didn't touch the... Uh, they didn't touch at all grenades anti-heal, which... I guess I'm the only one that feels that way, so whatever. Brightwing. Less health. Ah, poor Cass. Less health. Wow, this this one is big. This is something, but this is bigger. Uh, she can cleanse more often. Okay. That's, uh, that's a pretty big deal. Yeah, I don't think they watched my video. Or, and this is a big Omega gasp. They may not agree with some or all of it, Sir Gridham. I'm gonna make a note. Email them the balance notes. Freaking Abathur Mule Tilt Fest. Okay. Lily. Missile speed of healing brew increased. Blinding wind missile speed increased. Let's go. Range increased. Okay. That's good. Good buffs. Fetid touch. Slow amount of basic attacks. Increased from 15 to 20%. Okay, they better hit him with some nerfs to reactive ballista spores. Because I'm reading buffs to the most broken healer there is. Reduction of basic attack damage while in ranged mode from 50 to 40%. Okay, buff buff. Reactive. Search range of talent activation reduced by 20%. That's good. Let's get some more nerf in there. Bio kill switch cooldown reduction. While below 50% health, reduced from 150 to 100%. Okay. Cooldown increase from 60 to 75. Okay. Okay. That's good. Yeah, Lily may not have enough buff, but it still helps a bit. Low blow, bonus damage to low heroes, up. Wow. I found this one not weak, actually. It hungers. Bonus cast range. Fewer needed for CDR. Universal carrier. Pathogen healing reduction decreased. Healing pathogen healing reduction decreased. Oh, this is... Uh, you can non-stop pass the bong. But then smaller healing. 60%. Now it's 75. So it's, it's a buff. Interesting. I haven't picked this in years. Healing from being stunned or rooted increased. Oh, this one is actually decent. This is like 600 at level 20. Duh. Duh. <coughs> All right. Uh, Vault, after reaching level 20, gain a second charge. Pin down. More damage from the first quest reward. Bonds. More armor reduction, slow increase, duration reduced. Are they outside of their mind? What is this? Destiny's Child? Jumping, jumping? Da -na 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 -na. Heroes leaving containment are silenced as well. Excuse me? Did they not check my tier list? Hello? I did move her to uh, tier 2, but she's going right back to tier 1. This is way too much. Like, my F is very hard to play, and that's why she's lower. She's not meant to be this good. This is ridiculous. Let me tell you something. Wildheart was using my F effectively as a in lieu of a tank in ccl season two and season one it caught on a bit by other teams but it didn't get used by the winners or the top 
three that much. So it wasn't as viable per se. Partially because some of the best players are playing with lag, like Ultralisk playing from Europe and a lag. Maybe that's why he stays away from heroes like Maev. But he still played it. He still played it. As a DPS, not as a tank. Ju Justin Pitkid, he was already using this talent. He was already using this talent. And they're getting better. That's insane. It does have a duration reduction. That's In pro play, they burst you at the start anyway. And two vaults. Hey, they have this new phrasing of vitals. Kelthas, health increased. You know what Kelthas needs? Like a hitbox reduction by like 5%, 10 to 5%. Anyway, that makes him special, I guess. More health, interesting. How much extra is that? About 4%. Classic Blizzard. No, it's more. More than 4%. It's like five and a half or something. Gravity lab. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 12 seconds. Energy Royal. Now only from nine to eight, but that's still one better than before. This is two better. This is still one better than before. Mana tap. Mana restore from activating burden spheres. Okay. Hey. Convection is getting better. Convection at level one. Now how do I get my mana? 4% mana tap. Guess what? 5%. That's even more flame strikes. Big if true. Phoenix. Damage up. Yeah, it, it does hit a bit like a wet noodle. Splash damage up. Okay. I'm gonna, play, gonna be playing some Kel'thas. This is a good buff. Good buff. I, s I don't pick this much anymore, but I could. But I don't need to anymore. So buff. Buff if I'm playing memes for requests. And I'll, I I do pick Phoenix from time to time as well. Kel'thuzad. Bufferino. Three. What is that? Three percent health or what? Glacial spike. Damage increased. Ice cold. Glacial spike buff icy grasp oh bonus cooldown reduction for basic attacks hmm. this is not the best they're just buffing two talents that almost nobody picks this is uh, nice and this is nice ah, i'm glad they don't over buff him he's a scary hero to buff in any part of his crucial kit this is crucial though so is this uh. It's, I don't think they overdid it. I think it's fine. It's good. it's good. Though, I think not touching it would have been fine too. Bleak Toads. More damage. Good. Toads suck. Spiders own. Less slow. Less long slow. And less quest slow damage. Pandemic. Fewer reward. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 40 and 80 Toads was insane. Bit easier to hit. Blood Ritual, fewer stacks from waves. Okay. This is a big nerf because especially when you go for Toad build, you'll be using Blood Ritual almost all the time. And Hexed Crawlers is a viable pick for Widowmaker build. Uh, level 4 had two options, Blood Ritual or Hexed Crawlers. And now everyone will be picking this more because Toads are a little bit more valid because of the bonus damage and CD, like a bit easier quests. I still don't think Toads are amazing. I think he's only viable because of Q-Build, not because of Toads. Guardian Toads, more armor duration, that's nice. Spider Colony. Nerfed. Yeah. <coughs> I think Nazebo is now solidly bottom half of DPS again uh, with this. Maybe about middle of the pack. He's definitely not first pick, first ban anymore. Because this was very strong. And this has been nerfed a lot. And this is nerfed a bit. This doesn't matter. This is nerfed. So you pick that sometimes. You never take this. So I think he probably drops a percent or or one and a half percent of win rate or so. I think they could have gone slightly more aggressively with this. Maybe 119 to 130. Voila, less multi-shot damage. Oh my god, this one hurts. You're already waiting so long always for the cooldown to come back. 
Wow, I didn't think that they need to touch it anymore. They also bring back Q damage again. Yeah. Okay, so they nerf both multi-shot and puncturing arrow. So this previously went from 6 to 7, now it's 7 to 6 again. Uh, but they do buff auto attack build, which I thought is merited. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I think Vala is not topic anymore. And already, what? I, you know me, I already didn't think so. I think Vala at best should be picked last. I don't think I don't think you can even pick her in the middle, because if you play Vala into Zeratul, into uh, Junkrat, Stitches, uh, Diablo, she's bad. You'd rather have a Tychus against all of those. Uh, if you pick her into uh, uh, ETC and Blaze, that's fine, right? But. If you first pick or, or mid picker, you could still have like a Zeratul coming for you and or a Diablo and then you don't have the right auto attack damage dealer to deal with those. And less damage, less damage. I don't know what to say about her. Like this this is not good enough to take down Diablo stitches. Like I think she sucks. You can only pick Vala last. Anyone that first picks Vala is griefing. <coughs> Sagara. More health. <laughs> well, I'm definitely gonna pick her. Like, we need one more damage dealer. We, we, we need a damage dealer that can win on this map. Sagara kind of sucks recently. But wait, we need someone that has 1550 health. Well, what about Sagara? No, she has 1500 health. Oh, well, we can't pick her then. No, 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 she was buffed to 1550. Oh, that's what we need. She's going to survive Zeratul. She's going to own Diablo. <laughs> Let's just get to level 20 and get Broodmother. And then we're going to shoot one extra Baneling every how many auto attacks. Uh, and we do that a little bit faster. We'll kill Stitches with this. <laughs> no. Let's go. No, no, that that's not what she needed. Uh, Rockstar talent supplied to... E oh, wait after casting yeah after casting or after landing i think after casting so as he takes off he has a bit of armor and then he lands and he has the last half second or second or so of armor so they do answer it for us it immediately procs maybe that's the best way to do it instead of landing having none when you take off and then having two seconds of armor okay that's the patch notes overall over nerf on Vala, under buff on Zagara. Nazebo, not enough buff to Toads. Enough nerf to Spiders. Kel'Thuzad, not a big change, but nice. Kel'Thas is nice. Mayev is over buffed. Stukov might be an under nerf on this. And he's still badass. Like, Stukov is still really good. Like, under, let's say under nerf. Lily, under buff, but fine. Brightwing, I think it's fair. Anna, don't think you should be buffing Anna. Uh, it's not the worst. But she's really... yeah. Uh, maybe it's fine. This makes her a bit more accessible to newbies. Okay, I'm gonna approve this one. Let's move on. Zarya. Big buffs. I think we'll see more Zarya, which means return of the support meta. Boom. Double support. Thrall. I think he was fine. This is gonna buff him. He may be more valid. Maybe he'll be quite good, but he still can't double lane. Just remember that. He can't double lane. He's a four man, okay? He can only solo lane on Hanamura and Battlefield of Eternity. And even then, a URL will own your wave before you do. Rotate 5v4 on Hanamura bot lane. Come back before you can even say, what happened? So he's a solo laner. It can still be abused even on two lane maps. He can solo lane on Cursed Hollow as well. Yeah, Cursed Hollow is fine. Hanamura and Battlefield. So you, he still doesn't fill every role, but it's big buff and I think we'll see him more. This is fine. Good changes. Good changes. Overall, I'm going to give this a 7.2. Thanks for watching my patch notes. See you next video.